This is the brilliantly bonkers Aerial Nomad. Part sports car, part rally car, part Tamiya buggy made large, it is quite unlike any road car Evo has driven before. It is so intriguing that we will undoubtedly revisit it in both magazine and on video numerous times over the coming months and years. But after a few hours on the beautifully rugged roads of Exmoor, these are our blustery first impressions. Anyone that's driven an Atom will feel instantly at home. Well, the cabin architecture feels sort of the same, apart from obviously having this roll cage over the top. The gear shift is the same, lovely little gear shift, perfectly placed pedals. And the engine is still by Honda, but this time it's a 2.4 litre engine from the American Civic Type R. It's still got plenty of torque, despite being naturally aspirated, it's actually got the same amount of torque. It's a supercharged atom. But the main thing about the Nomad, of course, is the way that it handles. This is as close, I think, as Ariel's ever going to get to an SUV. And if I now look down into the footwell, I can see the outboard springs and dampers. The Ibach springs, love those covers, and the Bilstein dampers give it 250 millimetres of travel. 300 millimetres of ground clearance, and also a unique feeling from behind the wheel. The suspension in road trim is firmer than you might expect, and the Yokohama Geoland all-terrain tyres actually have much more grip than you would think too, but nonetheless it rolls, squats and dives in fascinating fashion, requiring you to really think and engage with how the Nomad 670 kilos needs to be managed down a road. It's a whole lot of fun this car, it's a totally different driving experience. Putting your finger on quite why you need a £36,000 aerial nomad in your fantasy or actual garage is difficult. All I know is that you do. Despite the big movements that you can see and feel in the suspension, there is still a delightful precision and deftness to the way it drives, which I hadn't expected. Because this is Ariel's shiny demonstrator, the only off-roading I did this time was turning around in bumpy gravel car parks. But even so, the very knowledge that it's capable of going where other sports cars don't is somehow hugely liberating. Your driving world seems to expand around you, opening up all sorts of exciting new possibilities for places to explore. I'm already plotting where to go next time we drive one. To watch the time we took a full-blown Fiesta R5 rally car on the road, click on the left. And to see the Aerial Atom in our track car of the year, click on the right.